We all know that having good, healthy coping skills is important, but the question is, when and how do we use them? The most important thing to using coping skills is making sure that your coping skill matches the level of intensity of the emotion that you're feeling, right? For example, if you're feeling um, something like anger or anxiety or something that contains a lot of excess emotional energy, you don't want to do calming coping skills such as uh, maybe like a breathing technique or meditation or like a gentle yoga flow or you know taking a bath trying to read things like that that is probably just going to um, upset you and kind of escalate you and exacerbate your symptoms even further so you know that's not something you want to do instead we need something more physically active that will help release that excess emotional energy we could go for a brisk walk we could run we could you know sometimes i'll just like pace in a room and kind of vent to myself out loud um, again getting that emotional energy if it's really bad you can scream into a pillow punch the bed you know something like that you it but it has to be something more physically active i can tell you that if you're in a high level of that even something it sounds silly but doing just some jumping jacks in place you know one thing i can challenge you on is again and this is for something with a high emotional intensity try holding a plank for at least a minute or for as long as you can right within one or maybe two minutes depending on how long it takes you to wear out that emotion is going to be released from your body and you're going to collapse and you're going to go and you're just you're just going to be done with the intensity and it's going to go you know from a scale of zero to ten ten being the highest level of intensity that will quickly drop you say you're at an eight you'll be immediately at like a four or lower just by doing that and like i said and that only takes like one minute you know sounds silly but try it and see what happens so and then after you get your emotional up um, the intensity level down to a at least half you know maybe a four or under then you want to incorporate a coping skill um, or a self-care activity at that point that um, is more calming that's when you can incorporate the you know a uh, um, the a bath um, you know the um, stretching things like that something more calming and soothing to really get you down to a zero and um, then vice versa with emotions that are more with a lack of energy like depression or sadness you know sometimes even just crying it out will help relieve that you know allowing the emotion to come up but some other um, coping skills could be something where maybe we just wanted to lay down, you know, listen to some music, maybe some more gentle stretching. That's where meditation can help. That's where those more calming and gentle uh, coping skills can help uh, release that emotional intensity. So again, the key to coping skills is making sure the level of emotional intensity matches that coping skill that you're using. Okay, hope this helps.